Well, hello there. Thank you for joining. Thank you for selecting this podcast to spend a few quality minutes of your day with me. I'm Janine, and I host this Monday through Friday podcast with a ton of episodes now already in the queue for you to, well, not have an excuse anymore to not bring change into your life. That's what I'm here for. That's my quest. And I invite you to find your quest, to find and discover what it is that you want to bring out in your life more. What changes you want to make to live more deliberate, more purposeful, and more meaningful, and to have an impact. The quest for you. That's my mission. And this is episode 155. Life is full of consequences. Our actions, our decisions, and our thoughts all have consequences. Many are minor, so we don't necessarily notice them. The ones that get our attention are those that have a bigger impact on our life. Maybe even a huge blow into our face, or a consistent nagging in the background, or a simply minor nuisance, but that always is on our mind. Every day, we live the life that we created through the actions we took yesterday, last week, the month prior, and years ago. Consequences are where our thoughts and actions meet reality. It's impossible to foresee all the results of our actions. Attempting to do so every time before we do something would lead to anxiety and indecisiveness. However, we can become more aware of the outcomes we are experiencing. Consequences are not good or bad, black or white, positive or negative. Consequences are feedback. They let us know how we did. They are, for most of us, the first step that triggers a change, a new approach, or confirms that we are on the right track. Too often, we don't take time to review the feedback we're receiving, especially the critical feedback. We all love compliments and a pat on the back, but the areas we messed up in, often we just brush over them and we think it'll be okay. Tomorrow is another day and yet it's another day full of thoughts, actions and decisions and another day of consequences. So today's episode is a reflection, you can call it a meditation, on some of the consequences that we all are living. What was your one action? that led to this consequence? What were the decisions you made day in and day out that brought you here? What are the thoughts you think surrounding this result? The purpose, as of all of my episodes, is to stimulate your thinking. Today, I invite you to take a few minutes and see which of these resonate with you. These are not meant to make you feel bad or guilty or hopeless. They're simply meant to help you become aware. And then, let this awareness of the consequences become your first step towards a change in course. Years of saying, oh, it will be fine. Months of ignoring the issue. Days and days of forgetting to address the situation. We all know how it is. We all live in this reality daily. It doesn't mean it always has to be this way. So start with awareness today. And maybe tomorrow you do something slightly different. And by next week, you're already making major changes. And keep this in mind. The consequences of your actions are often more painful, longer lasting, and much harder to reverse than the small things that you did daily that got you there. So why not stop some of the pain and reverse some of the long-term damage by making a few changes that are just a little bit harder in the moment, but pay off in the long term? What are the consequences of your actions when you criticize others, think negatively about them, bash them on social media, make snarky comments to people, are unwilling to help out and ignore the work that needs to be done? We often don't see the consequences of many of our actions because we pass them on to someone else. Or we think that we're just thinking them, so there's no harm done. 
but we can become more sensitive to these feelings that these actions or thoughts bring us. Is there joy and genuine happiness in these examples I just listed? Our feelings can be a good indicator for the ripples our actions are creating. What are the consequences of your actions when others criticize you, speak negatively about you, attack you on social media, make sarcastic comments about others while you are there, are unwilling to help out and ignore the work that needs to be done? We often don't see the consequences of many of our actions because we think they have nothing to do with us. Others did it or didn't do anything about it. Why is this my concern? Your inaction is still an action. It's a decision not to act. And how does it feel to be the receiver of the words of others? Often painful, right? And often they trigger us to behave in similar or even worse ways. So when you find yourself helpless or don't think you have a part to play, think of a positive counteraction you can take that will balance out the damage done by others. What are the consequences of your actions when you are unwilling to forgive someone important in your life? Watch TV for hours every day. Work at a job that makes you miserable. Consume food that makes you feel and look unhealthy. Disregard your body's needs for healthy amounts of movement and rest. Consistently run late to every meeting and appointment. And work endless hours. What is the ripple effect of these activities? What other areas of your life do these influence and impact? What are the results? Aside from the immediate outcomes, think long term. One small action, beneficial or harmful, performed consistently over long periods of time, will add up to larger consequences, beneficial or harmful. What small thoughts, words, or actions can you change that would make the long-term outcome beneficial instead of harmful? What could be the consequences of your actions if you stopped ignoring and paid attention? Address the issue, the concern, the situation. Stopped worrying and start moving. Change the tone of your voice the choice of your words, and the expression on your face. Listen better, focused in closer, and spoke less. Paid more attention to others, the information presented, your own body. And look people in the eyes, acknowledge them, and be kind to them. What could be the consequences of your actions if you changed one small thing today and kept it up for the rest of your life? Where could this take you? A problem will remain a problem as long as you choose to see it as such. But a problem will go away when you begin to shift your focus towards action. So go into your day today and observe a little closer the things you think about, the words you speak, and the actions you take. Worry less where they came from and focus more on how to change them if they are not getting you the results you hope for. Think a little bit closer today about the consequences of your actions. Much love. Until next time.